The Book Garden City Megacity has two covers. One is an apocalyptic cover basically taken in Guangzhou in China on a day that was too hot for the people of Guangzhou to live. And that half of the book presents the problems of overcrowded cities in the era of global warming. Then we flip over the book and we've got Woha's solutions clearly defined and delineated that can save the cities from the problems that are shown in the other half of the book. Garden City Megacity literally marries the ideas of the Garden City, which was developed in the 19th and 20th century in Western cities, with the concept of the megacity or the metabolist vision of this hyperdense city. What we realised as we've been working in these cities is that there's, there's no way on earth of providing garden suburbs for cities of 50 million or 70 million or 100 million. So there must be some way of unlocking this quality of life to this uh, growing population. We've been really interested in architecture, urbanism and ecology and in a way we, we, we've realised that it's not possible to address pressing needs of one or the other without uniting all three of them. So what we've looked at doing is, is running uh, ecosystems through our buildings, vertically and horizontally. In terms of the urbanism, it's because as the buildings get very large, they function in some way like small towns or villages, so there needs to be an element of, of the legibility and the activity in the public realm in the way the architecture uh, operates. So you have architecture operating as urbanism, and in some ways these enormous structures are quite intimidating, so you need to use architecture to domesticate the, uh, the large urbanism. We wanted to leave behind a book that will help uh, pave the way for people and young minds to start thinking in a different manner and to actually think the future not in the 20th century, but to actually think for the 21st century. The real point of the book, to me, is, goes way beyond what I call the worldwide architectural coterie. It's particularly for the generation that matters. I personally want the world's best architects and particularly the town planners and developers to rethink the model, to prioritise in every building, in every urban development, to prioritise sustainability and what I've termed sociability. You may disagree with everything Woha and I propose, but at least you, architects, anybody else can then think about it. This is a call to arms that we, on building, developing and ignoring the consequences of our urban planning policies. So it's simply a matter of banging a bloody great gong and just like wake up everybody. That must be the 21st century priority. So the Wohau book encapsulates an idea about what might be possible. It's not saying what we have done. It's not an advertisement for their product. It's an idea about how the world might be. And that's a very welcome idea.